Hello there, product people. This is Adriana here to walk you through Product School's feature prioritization template. To get started, you are going to click on this button on our website. And when you get to the template, you'll see that we cover five different prioritization frameworks. Moscow, Kano, Rice Scoring, Feasibility, Desirability, Viability, and Value Slash Effort. Now, to do this exercise, you're going to start with a project that has a list of features that you would like to prioritize. And we suggest that for each project, you only choose one of these prioritization methods to use. And first, we're going to start with Moscow methods. So this is must have, should have, could have, and won't have. You're going to slot all of your features into one of these categories. And Moscow is really great for that ruthless prioritization. When you have a project that has a lot of features that you would like to build, but realistically, you're not gonna get around to it. So you say, what is vital? What must we absolutely have? And what is something that we're just not going to have this time around? And instead of saying, oh, you know, these features will maybe get to them later, you say, no, we will not be building this. And that really frees up your mental capacity to focus on those highest priority features. Next, we have Kano. And Kano is great if you want to really level up and elevate your product. So if you want to stand out from the competition. And the idea is that over time, there are diminishing returns on those kind of essential features. And after a certain point, what you need to focus more on are those performance and delighter features. So you see here again, those parameters, delighters, performance, and basic features. And you are going to end up with an ordered list from highest to lowest priority based on these and based on the weight that, that you give these in your ranking. Next, we have rice scoring, which is more of a number-based model. So you have this nice formula that is reach by impact by confidence over effort. And what that means is that reaches audience, that's the number of people you're going to reach. Impact is how much impact will building this feature have on the product. Confidence is how confident are we in those above assessments. And effort is how much effort will it actually take to build this, this product, this, this feature. And you're going to rank, you're going to give a score for each of these parameters for each feature. And in the end, you're going to have a, a final score. And effort is actually pretty important because even if something is high reach and high impact, but a lot of effort, you might want to reconsider building that feature um, and, and build other also important features instead of putting all of your eggs in that one basket. Next up, we have feasibility, desirability, and viability. And this framework is really looking at can we build this feature and should we? So feasibility is if you're technically able to, viability is based on market and business conditions, are we able to? And desirability is do customers even want this? And you are going to end up with something a bit like this, each of your features with your scores, you're going to sum the, the three parameters and that is how you're going to end up with your numbered featured list. And finally, we have value slash effort. And value slash effort is gonna give you this great visualization of what features you should and should not be building. And it works with two parameters. So that's just value and effort. How much value will this bring to the product or company and how much effort will it take to, to create it? And you're going to end up building these features on the top. So the best features to identify are those that are low effort, but high value. And next most important are the ones that are high effort and high value. Yeah, they're high effort, but they, they still matter. And then next, these are the ones, you know, we'll get to them if we have the time. It's low effort, low value. And the ones that we are not gonna be building are the ones that are high effort and low value. Why build those? And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, you can head over to our community forum. And of course, you can always find more information on this topic on the Product School website or on the YouTube channel. Bye.